Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you are all doing great. Uh, today is the second day of uh, Ramadan and I'm excited because after a long time I've come to Masjid al-Haram uh, in Mecca to uh, break my fast, iftar. This is going towards Masjid al-Haram and that right there is the iconic clock tower. After Corona, to see a crowd like this, I mean, uh, the crowd is so much that this time they are only allowing uh, people to do Umrah once, once for uh, Ramadan. So imagine the crowd. Now the problem is, uh, our hotel is like, uh, say, five to six to seven kilometers away from here. And uh, there's no, there's shuttle service, but uh, it came to a certain stop and it just brought us uh, halfway here. Now the rest of the half, we have to make it on foot. Uh, not a big deal, not a big deal. Walking for like three to four kilometers is not a big deal in Mecca. We are getting closer to the clock tower, the iconic clock tower. And you can see all these people going for iftar. The good thing here is uh, the shade and the fans. These fans are working, keeping us cool. So what's happening right there is uh, they are distributing food. That's a common sight here, uh, especially in Makkah and Madina during during the, what do you call, the Ramadan season. Hopefully, inshallah, towards the end of Ramadan, I, ha I have uh, planned to go to Madina and uh, uh, for iftar of course to break fast so I don't know exact date but inshallah I'll take you guys there as well you know I'll show you my experience uh, of iftar in Madina lot of constructions going on by the way um, I've been in Saudi Arabia for quite some time now you can say it since almost since childhood and uh, I have seen Makkah literally change a lot of construction going on still Masjid Al-Haram is uh, in the expansion mode you can say uh, it started back in 2010 2011 ish and it's still continuing structures huh? I think it, it, it takes a long time to build this no wonder if you are here in person you will actually feel how massive this is every time I visit Haram uh, the first sight of uh, the masjid itself the mosque itself um, always gives you that goosebump you know so guys, I have finally settled uh, for a place. This seems to be a newly uh, constructed area uh, because uh, tower is on the other side. And uh, yeah, there's another, you can say one hour left, roughly one hour left. Okay. And uh, we are all waiting. You can see a lot of people waiting. And I'm excited. I'm excited to have Iftar uh, for the first time in a long time actually. Yeah. Mashallah, you can see uh, volunteers serving uh, food, preparing actually, actually they are preparing for, for the iftar. Now, I did not show you what's inside this bag. There was this uh, cheese puff. There's a cheese puff. Then there is this mamul. It's a biscuit filled with uh, date paste. And then there is... Uh, there is juice, orange juice, and there is a cupcake, and water, 
and I'm sure there is dates. Yeah, there is a date pack, four dates, I think. Yeah, and that's it for this bag. The samosas that you see here is actually uh, I I got it from some somewhere else. It did not come in the bag. Now, Alhamdulillah, we just finished the iftar and uh, the cleanup is going on now and uh, we are praying, uh, we are getting ready for Salah. So actually the iftar is over and uh, the time now is 7.15, another one hour or something like that for Isha Salah and as you can see uh, people have uh, had their meal and then they are taking some rest until the next break. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I he will stay around, uh, do some Quran reading, spend some time here, and then maybe after Salah head back to the hotel and then uh, call it a day. you enjoyed the video I really uh, for me it was like a spiritual journey because uh, after a long time I came here and uh, had iftar in the Masjid Al Haram uh, after quite some time seriously like I last time I came I remember it, I was a kid from here we need to go another like half kilometer or one kilometer and then get into a bus now getting into a bus is another story uh, I'll try to show you guys the whole experience all right so yeah stay tuned stay with me so as you can see this is the crowd man this is the crowd coming from the masjid and going to the apartments hotels wherever they are staying and over there are the buses I'm here to get the bus it's like a full crowd the hotel that I'm in uh, have said that they have sent the bus and uh, I don't know when that's going to come we are expecting a van like that that's the clock tower iconic clock tower at night Man, it's been uh, quite a while now. I think it's like 15 to 20 minutes and our van still hasn't come. This is crazy. 